everybody. It's Luke Venters. It's a beautiful fall morning. Mr. Speckles just rounded up a herd of deer. <laughs> Good boy, you go get him. <laughs> Seeing him pounce like that's one of my favorite things in, in the whole world. It's just such a beautiful display of enthusiastic athleticism and agility. It's kind of like his, his childlike side, you know. Just playing for the sake of playing. He just chased three deer. You can see him way over there. They were bedding down in the field right here in front of me. Well, right, right there. And uh, they perked up their ears when they saw me coming and were still laying down, two of them. And I went, meh, which is, uh, there's a little sound. Like say you really needed to eat and um, you know, there was some kind of a meat shortage or financial crisis or you were starving to death and just needed to hunt a deer for some reason. When deer are in the rut, which means uh, the time of year that they mate and they get, you know, horrendy, there's uh, usually a buck that will travel with larger herds or two bucks, you know. And there's a little call. They, they, the bucks snort <laughs> to let the, the, the does know that there's some kind of danger. But there's uh, a response, almost like the call of a lost lamb, that's like a mat. It's like a little honk of a horn that deer will do to like kind of echolocate each other to each other. And if you ever want to get a deer to freeze in its tracks for like a nice photo or because you wanted to get a shot at one and hit it in the heart instead of the guts or the intestines and liver and, you know, blow apart the bones and make a bunch of neck. Because like if you shoot an animal in the wrong place, uh, it'll still die, but it, it won't die well. One, they suffer more. And... Uh, if they're afraid during the moments of their death, like terribly afraid, a bunch of adrenaline goes into the meat and it makes it taste bad, or different. And uh, also if you gut shot an animal or hit the intestines or something, or you know, a bunch of poop that hasn't yet left the intestines will go into the you know, interior of the animal. And there's still gonna be usable meat, but it's not as pleasant of a job to clean out. And so anyway, if you want them to just freeze for the perfect photo opportunity or the perfect shot, whether it's with a camera or a rifle or a bow, then you can just go, meh. It reminds me of that uh, movie, uh, Road Trip. It came out, anybody in their mid, like late 30s will remember Road Trip. It came out in like sometime 99, 2000, 2001, 2002, something like that. Right around the turn of the millennia, all of us millennials. Anyway, uh, there's this smart guy with like curly hair and glasses and he's trying to teach the other dude calculus and he's like, I could take a, teach a monkey, you know, Shakespeare if I could find a way for them to relate to the material. It's all, all about relating to the material. And he does this little like rap song thing that was so catchy at the time. He goes, Matt, 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 no, 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 Matt, 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 no, something like that. I'm butchering it, of course, but... Oh, it's like, no, 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 k -k no, 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 k -k no, 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 break it down, dig it, dig it, dig it, dig it, you know, Matt, 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 maybe that's Jane Silent Bob that did the Matt, 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 I think it is, now that I think about it, anyway, it's just one Matt, go, Matt, and uh, almost with a little bit of a musical tone, it's like, I don't know, I don't know what key it is, I don't want to guess and be too terribly wrong sounds like a c like a flat c c flat flat <laughs> yeah so uh anyway that's my little take on uh walking in the fall and being able to shoot the deer whether it's with a camera or uh, a gun so anyway hope you guys are having a great day as I always say, keep your heads up. You can see a lot farther that way for the right shot. Adios.